So you want to learn about brushes in Krita. Hey guys, welcome back, Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Krita once again, taking a look at how to create and use different brushes in Krita and get some pressure sensitivity working, get a lot of the different settings and stuff. I said I would make this video a while ago, so today here it is. We're going to get started. I have a canvas, 25, 60, 1440, because I like drawing in high resolutions. Um, and up, up here at the uh, top of the screen, you can see we have this button right here, and this is the brushes button. We can go ahead and uh, and open this little panel over here on the side and go to all. If I go to all, these are all the default brushes that Krita has to offer. It's very, 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 very many brushes, as you can see. Um, and they're very nice. They're great. You really don't need any uh, extra other brushes. You might need to do a couple of different things depending on what your art style is. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. Is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to scroll on down until we find this one. That, ooh, this one that says basic five size. You can see how many how many different options we have now. We have so many more uh, settings available to us now that we're not on just the regular basic one. You can see the difference right there. So that's really, really nice. If we go ahead and I were to go ahead and turn off all these check boxes, let's go ahead and turn off all these check boxes first before I get in anything. Now we have a pretty much just a, a basic thing, just like we had before with the basic uh, dash one up there. And you can see now this first category we have is brush tip. This will determine the default size of the brush um, when, when you open it up. So now you can see we have a much thinner line, eight pixels. We, you see we have a much thicker line now. It's uh, 169 pixels. I'm going to leave that on somewhere around 20. Um, that's a pretty good starting size uh, ratio. Once again, this is uh, this is like obviously the thinness of the thing. If you, the, this setting is like calligraphy, if you were doing calligraphy, like if I, were, if I were to go ahead and you know something like that, you know. So it looks pretty cool. The thinner, the thinner, the smaller ratio number, the uh, the thinner the lines will become, which looks pretty sweet, right? So we have something like that, right? Um, Chinese Chinese characters are pretty cool to do with ratio as well. Um, and of course, horizontal uh, and vertical fade. This will make it so that the line is more soft. Let me turn that up so you can see it. The line is more soft. You can see now we have a softer edge instead of a harder one. I'm gonna put that back on one as well, and the size back down to 20. So uh, angle. Obviously, if this wasn't a, let me turn the ratio down. If I turn the ratio down, you can see the angle changing. You can see how this is much different um, now. It, it'll change the angle of obviously of the brush so that is pretty sweet and spikes as well if i were to go ahead and turn that down you can see we have spikes now on our um on our on our brush which is pretty sweet right so looking like a star thing and also randomness of course this will change the uh the texture of the brush so that it's not exactly solid it'll be a bit more uh textury instead of instead of solid like that so that's a pretty cool feature um and what we have uh finally let me go ahead and turn the ratio all the way up uh, the density, of course, this is the same kind of thing as the randomness is, but random obviously gives it a bit more randomness. So we have the regular, let me turn the random off. Uh, we have the regular density setting where you can see we can uh, brush kind of like a, uh, a chalk or a sponge um, kind of brush going on. Then we can turn the randomness all the way up and it gets even more random and, and, and different. So uh, a couple different settings there. And of course, obviously spacing would be uh, how spaced out. If you, look down up, if you look up at the top here, you can see how spaced the lines are so now we have like an old-fashioned kind of uh, snake game you know where you catch the apple we have all that down masking type soft Gaussian these once again these will blur the edges of your um, see there we go there's some of that lag I was talking about uh, some of that some of your edges will be blurred with Gaussian of course and this will change the uh, the amount of softness and how how soft it is right there uh, depending on how hard you're pressing so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back to default and the the shape we can also do is do, do a square I don't want a square I just want to show you guys that you can do that so that's pretty sweet we'll go back to circle and and now we can get off to the uh, the rest of these here we have blending types and you can actually have a default blending type so I can leave my uh, blending type on multiply all the way all the time or I could leave it on uh, screen which wouldn't show you anything because it's the colors black if I were to change to like solid red and then do the same thing you can see that it will screen over top of our black line which is really really sweet we have opacity which obviously will create an opacity effect the harder you press the darker it is the softer you press the lighter it is which is a nice feature obviously um, I don't recommend using it for line art obviously but it's very great for uh, regular painting so of course we have these sliders over here which will determine the um, the the amount of softness or op the amount of opaque and transparent so yeah, that's pretty much it for opacity right there. You can see uh, that works pretty well. And we can go ahead and go to flow. And flow is similar to opacity, but flow 
you can see it just has like a little bit of a tail on the end there. And um, you can see if I just, just whip it right there, there's a tail. There's a little bit of a tail on the end. You can see up here as well. There's a tail on the end, which uh, gives you the effect that it's obviously fading away. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I go ahead and turn opacity on with flow, it might look a bit weird, um, but that's all right. That's all right, because it, it creates that little whip at the end anyway. So uh, we can turn uh, pressure sensitivity off of, of, of flow and leave it on uh, pressure in, which you know, might look pretty cool. You can see the difference it is if I turn it on and off. Uh, it's on, that's off, obviously. So it has it, it has a nice effect. That's a pretty nice um, opacity setting right there. You can mix those two together, come up with some pretty cool ideas. Um, and moving on, we have size, which is the big, which is the big guy that I'm worried about here. Go ahead and turn that on. You can see instantly that we had this really cool uh, size uh, pressure sensitivity going on you can see that we have this really nice thing going on and if we turn opacity off we have a really nice brush for line art you can see um, it's really pretty great um, you can do a lot of really cool stuff with this uh, which is really sweet so that's pretty cool we can also turn on uh, ratio and, and and spacing and mirror and softness and sharpness and and rotation and all this yada 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 um, but I, I think I think the biggest one actually rotation looks pretty good with this actually it, it gives it this nice weird thickness. Um, uh, one one a great one is is scatter, but you have to turn the the strength down a lot because it gives your line art like a more rough feel. If you're going for like a hundred percent smooth feel, then of course scatter wouldn't help you out. But if it gives a really nice rough feel, as you can see over there on the side, um, we can turn that off and and, and get a nice. Uh, smooth line again. There we go. I did modify my own brushes. I have some brushes right here. I made a folder actually. You can make a folder by selecting a brush. Like for instance, maybe I want to grab this adjust color brush and then hit this. Uh, oh, no, not, not, not that plus. You want to go ahead and go up to save new brush preset and you can go ahead and just type in a name uh, KK brush, right? And then you can go ahead and hit uh, save. If I go into uh, the brush you can see we have KK brush and now if I want to go ahead and assign it to a tag I can right click it and then go uh, and create a new tag and I just you just call it anything I called mine Kai's brushes you can just sit, select Kai's brushes if I go from all to Kai's brushes you can see that our KK brush is now right there which is pretty sweet if you want to delete, delete something go ahead and just delete obviously um, you can go ahead and take a look at some of the other uh, things I've made over the over time so I took that uh, basic five brush the one that we used the second one we use, not the basic one, the basic five. So I took that one and I uh, I modified it a little bit to, to make my own line art brush. This is the brush that I use for all of my line art and my sketching, actually. I use this as a sketch brush as well because I just like the way that it looks. Um, I don't really know why. It just looks great for sketching. I love it. Uh, it works great. Fantastic. Uh, something like that. So that's a pretty cool brush. And I also have my sketch brush. I did make a sketch brush um, for actual painting because I don't like using that line art brush for painting. So, ooh, so I'll use this sketch brush when I'm actually trying to paint. Those are my two ones. I usually 100%, like 98, 99% of the time, I'll be using the line art brush right here, which my settings really quickly are just um, basic for the first rate. I don't have a blend mode, don't have opacity, don't have any flow. I do have size. I might turn ratio on, though, because I like the way that looks. But it doesn't work out for everything, so I think I might leave it off for this brush, yeah. Leave it off for this brush. I have size on. It's uh, just above the, the bottom because I don't want it to be infinitely thin because that's a bit too thin for me. So I, I'll, I'll raise it up a little bit to, to make the edges not uh, to make the edges a bit thicker, which is nice. The end bit a bit thicker, so something like that. Um, and none of this is on. No color is on. No uh, texture for strength is on, but I don't need it, so I don't know why that's on, to be honest with you. Masked brush, none of that is on as well. Actually, I do have opacity on. I don't know why I do, because I'm not using anything for it. So if you have those on, you can go ahead and turn those off. It might save you a bit of uh, resources when you're painting. I'm not sure if it actually does take those into effect. Uh, or not, but it's just good practice to not have them on if you're not using them. So I recommend going out and, and grabbing yourself a, a line art brush because it's just the best. It's the best, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye bye.